Well, this is the ultrasound of a female pelvis in which uh, she is giving the history of primary fertility, married seven years, history of uh, DNCs for the reason at least not giving proper history, uh, illiterate patient. So this is the uterus in non visual section. This is small amount of fluid seen uh, posteriorly. The endometrial canal. This is the endometrial canal. And uh, the endometrial canal is normal, central and clear. It is central and clear. This is the myometrium, no myometrial mass. This is longitudinal view as I move transversely. Now, the cause of her infertility is in front of you very clearly. You see, this is the uh, uterus. This is the uterus in transverse section. And this is the right adnexa where we are seeing multiple, uh, don't say multiple, but two large cystic areas, thick wall. See, the wall is thick irregular with tiny calcifications. This is a calcification and internal echoes. This cyst contains sig significant internal echoes. This is also a small cyst or a follicle and this is the right ovary. This is uh, tubo ovarian pathology on the right side of uh, infective nature. In our culture, Cox infection is very uh, important to be ruled out or any chronic inflammation. Now this measures 5.7 into 3.7 centimeter, the one uh, tubo ovarian cystic mass uh, of infective nature, sonographically, uh, is uh, a tubo ovarian one. And then on the, on the left side again, you will see, now this is the left admixer. Quite clearly, you can see that. Uh, now, first of all, let's measure it. Measure the proximity. Five point seven into three point three millimeter, and this is left tube ovarian. Again, it's uh, showing. This is a small follicle here, but. Uh, this is a cystic area, this, these are cystic areas, this is the largest cyst seen in this side and uh, it measures 21 millimeter, almost 20 into 20 mm. This is small amount of fluid seen, uh, which is consistent with the pelvic inflammatory disease. Patient is not tender to the probe. Had she been tender to the probe, the fluid seen would have been uh, either torian ovarian cyst, but in this case, it is this fluid, fluid, fluid that is seen uh, in the left head in exa and then tracking into the uh, pelvic uh, region is consistent with pelvic inflammatory disease. Supporting the uh, diagnosis of tubo ovarian pathology bilateral and cause of infertility in this particular case. And this is uh, no blood flow is seen internally in either of these uh, tubovarian cystic masses of infective nature uh, sonographically. These are the I, now this is, uh, you are seeing the ovarian, uh, vessel, uh, ovarian iliac up, up here, iliac vessels, the right side landmark for the identification of the ovary. On the right side also you will see small amount of fluid. So this is a case of uh, the day which is uh, bilateral tubo ovarian masses of cystic masses of infective nature with pelvic inflammatory disease uh, suggested by fluid in the pelvic cavity 
the size of the uterus is normal and there is no other pathology seen. Thank you very much.